Before we begin today's AGM proceedings, may I request you all to observe a minute silence in fond memory of our Chairman Emeritus Mr. Ram Sahani on his first death anniversary today. Mr. Ram Sahani was Ashok Leyland's first Indian Managing Director and was with Ashok Leyland and the Hinduja Group for over three decades. He was a visionary architect who laid the strong foundation in manufacturing, engineering and technology for the company, the magnificent edifice we see today. His vision has inspired leaders of all generation and his contribution to the company and the industry is unparalleled. We miss him dearly. Thank you. We will now begin the AGM proceedings. Dear shareholders, good afternoon and a warm welcome to you all to the 72nd annual general meeting of Ashok Leyland Limited being held through video conferencing. For the smooth conduct of the meeting, the video audio of all the members will be in mute mode. The audio and video will be opened only for those shareholders who have pre-registered themselves as speakers. Please note that as per the requirements, the proceedings of the annual general meeting will be recorded and be hosted on the website of the company. I now hand over the proceedings to Mr. Dheeraj G. Hinduja, Chairman of Ashok Leyland Limited. Over to you, sir. Good afternoon. I have pleasure in welcoming the shareholders, representatives of Hinduja Automotive, financial institutions, banks, foreign institutional investors, mutual funds, and insurance companies to the 72nd Annual General Meeting of Ashok Leyland Limited. It is now the appointed time for the meeting. The Annual General Meeting for the financial year 2021 is held through video conferencing in compliance with the circulars issued by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and the Securities and Exchange Board of India. The company has taken all the steps to ensure that the shareholders are provided an opportunity to participate in the annual general meeting and vote electronically. Live broadcast of the proceedings of this meeting is provided. Participation of shareholders through video conferencing is reckoned for the purposes of quorum as per the circulars issued by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and Section 103 of the Companies Act 2013. The requisite quorum being present, I formally declare the meeting open. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce to you the members of the board. Mr. Sanjay Asher, Chairman of the Audit Committee and Stakeholders Relationship Committee. Namaste. Ms. Manisha Girotra, Chairperson of the Nomination and Remuneration Committee. Mr. Vipin Sondi, Managing Director. Professor Dr. Andreas Biagosh, Dr. Andrew Palmer. Namaste. Mr. Jean Brunol. Hello. Mr. Jose Maria Alapon. Hello. Mr. Sogata Gupta. Hi. Dr. C.B. Rao. Hi. Mr. Gopal Madhavan, Whole Time Director and Chief Financial Officer. Mr. Ram Nathan, Company Secretary. Namaste. The representatives of the statutory auditors and the secretarial auditors of the company are also present at this meeting from their respective locations. The register of directors and key managerial personnel and their shareholding, register of members, register of contracts of arrangements in which directors are interested, and the certificate from the statutory auditors in accordance with the Regulation 13 of the SEBI Share-Based Employee Benefits Regulation 2014 relating to the Employee Stock Option Scheme are available for inspection by the members electronically, if they so desire. As the meeting is being held through video conferencing, 
the facility for appointment of proxies by the members was not applicable, and hence the inspection of the proxy register is not available. In compliance with the circular issued by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and the Securities and Exchange Board of India, the notice dated July 7, 2021, convening this annual general meeting and the copy of the annual report and the audited financial statements of the company for the financial year ended March 31st, 2021, has been circulated on August 13th, 2021 through electronic mode to the members of the company and with your permission, I shall take them as read. Due to the ongoing pandemic of COVID-19, we could not print physical copies of the annual report for the 2021 and dispatch the same to you. Dear shareholders, good afternoon. I hope you and your family are keeping well. It is a pleasure to welcome you to the 72nd annual general meeting of your company in the virtual format. Though this can hardly replicate our meeting in person, I will do my best to share the contours of progress of your company and hope that our next interaction will be a physical one. I believe this is also a good opportunity to reflect on the factors that influence your company's business and to get a sense of the challenges we face, the opportunities that lie ahead and how we reimagine your company's future. As we are aware, the last fiscal year was unprecedented due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Its impact, both as a health crisis and macroeconomic disruptor, has been quite significant. India's GDP contracted last fiscal by over 7% in 2020-21. Faced with the unprecedented situation, the Government of India and the Reserve Bank of India have been continuously calibrating several economic measures, including various stimulus programs. This set of measures has resulted in improving consumer confidence and enhancing industrial production in the second half of the last fiscal. As a leader in commercial vehicles, your company always recognized the crucial role of the commercial vehicle industry that it plays in our country's socio-economical progress. I wish to take you through some of the challenges your company faced and the resolute steps that were taken to stay on course. The demand for commercial vehicles declined sharply in the fiscal year 2020-21, more particularly in the certain product segments such as bus, haulage, and tipper applications. The vehicle sales volume improved during the latter part of the year with progressive unlocking of the economic and social activities. However, apart from the pandemic, an unprecedented shortage of semiconductors affected our output, especially in the last quarter, while the increases in commodity prices affected margins. Notwithstanding the adverse financial performance last year, you will be pleased to note that taking various factors into account, the Board of Directors has unanimously recommended payment of dividend from out of the reserve to address your interests. Despite the unprecedented challenges, your company did not swerve from the path of technological innovation and product development. The high point during the year was the successful introduction of the Aftar range of medium and heavy-duty modular trucks, a feat we are all proud of. You may recall that we planned our entry into the light-duty range to balance the overall product portfolio and address the volatility of commercial vehicle business cycles. This strategy has been validated by the runaway success of Dost earlier and now by Barados in the adjacent payload segment. Barados was developed by your company's technical team in a record timeline of 22 months, another significant achievement which we all must be proud of. This introduction has helped your company reach the highest ever position in sales volume and market share in its class. Our international operations were also impacted by COVID, but here again, we use the opportunity to strengthen our organization 
defense and power solutions businesses maintained their success on an even keel. During this difficult period, the aftermarket business performance was near normal, improving on the reach, turnover, and service penetration. In fact, our aftermarket operations geared up even more to support the road transport community with agility and empathy. Our journey of digital transformation of the business, which began in 2017, has taken a further leap transforming the way we look at our business and processes internally, and the way we engage with our customers and partners externally. This has made the whole experience fulfilling and profitable for all, consistent with our ethos of Apkijit Amariji. As you are aware, your company has the ambitious vision to be among the global top 10 commercial vehicle manufacturers. In the pursuit of your vision, your company constantly evaluates the changing market dynamics and customer needs to make the connect with the customers more purposeful and mutually rewarding. I would like to update you on some transformational initiatives we are taking in this context. Your company has always been pioneering the introduction of contemporary technologies in India in emission, safety and ride comfort and for better transport economics. Consistent with this approach over 15 years ago, your company has initiated an alternate propulsion plant and successfully introduced CNG buses in Delhi. This was followed up with a plan for zero emission through launch of electric buses. Your company has taken up electric vehicle transformation in the bus and LCV range as a strategic goal. The addressable market globally for electric buses and light trucks is expected to reach $70 billion by 2030 from the current base of around $5 billion. This expected growth could further intensify in a strong policy scenario as more nations mandate and advance their long-term zero-carbon goals. As many of you are aware, your company has a notable presence in the UK through its subsidiary Optair. In order to reinforce and accelerate the efforts in zero-carbon mobility, and to provide a uniform approach to electric vehicle technology development for global markets, your company has now combined all the electric mobility assets into a single entity under the name of Switch Mobility. The unique advantage of the new entity are the electric vehicle development capabilities and customer experience that straddle advanced markets such as the EU, as well as the India-like growth markets. This is in addition to our low-cost engineering, agile development, and sourcing advantages in India. In Switch Mobility, your company has the unique opportunity of servicing global requirements by providing both value and premium electric commercial vehicles. Already 280 electric buses are plying in the UK and India, clocking more than 26 million miles. These electric vehicles represent the highest global standards in this domain. In addition, I'm also excited about your company's new range of light electric vehicles, led by the flagship model Barados as an electric vehicle geared towards the last mile delivery. We will be launching more products in the bus and light truck categories and have plans for entering many more international markets, apart from undertaking more intensive coverage in India. I'm happy to inform you that Dana Incorporated, a global leader in drivetrain and e-propulsion systems, has made an investment in switch mobility, signifying their confidence in our electric vehicle strategy. Extending further in our line of business, customers and operators are increasingly looking to be asset light. This has become more pronounced in the context of the higher capital costs of the electric vehicles. Pay per mile is now becoming the new norm and is expected to extend to all sectors of passenger and cargo mobility. Therefore, your company's role is getting extended beyond products to providing appropriate solutions to customers. It is the considered view of your company that such a role is efficiently executed through a standalone entity which is closer to customers on a real-time basis. 
For this, a new entity has been established called Ohm Mobility, and the main differentiating factor is its versatile digital platform developed by your company that provides a 360 degree view of the customer's operation to drive improved efficiency and profitability. An MOU has been signed by Ohm Mobility with Siemens for a strategic partnership in an identified areas of cooperation. Switch Mobility and Ohm Mobility as extended arms of your company will accelerate and deepen our engagement with electrification in the bus and LCV segments. Your company will, in parallel, continue to focus on innovations in product with alternate fuels and other customer solutions. As one of the leading markets in the world, India's logistics industry is ex expected to reach close to $400 billion in size over the next five years. Aided by digital enablers, I'm also pleased to share with you today another new initiative promoted by your company for digital transportation solutions to play the role of journey partner to our customers through the asset lifecycle. We aim to realize the same through a unified and asset-like digital platform for our fleet owners and other logistic value chain stakeholders based in India. This setup is built on a cutting edge digital platform of platforms and backed by strong organizational capabilities to offer as a one-stop shop, a truly differentiated and value accretive offering to our customers and value chain partners. I look forward to sharing more details on this in due course. Looking ahead, the outlook for FY22 is positive, notwithstanding the impact faced in the first quarter of this fiscal year due to the second wave of COVID. India's GDP in 2021-22 is projected to grow by 9.5%. Continued economic recovery and renewed focus on infrastructure building should support strong recovery in the commercial vehicle industry. Apart from your company's core product range of medium and heavy vehicles, light and intermediate vehicle segments are expected to make robust gains. Your company has competitive products in every segment, which augurs well for the company's future performance. However, your company will continue to keep a close watch on the trends to initiate timely course corrections as may be necessary. For your company, the stakeholders and business sustainability are, as ever, at the top of the agenda. I must make a special mention of our employees. Despite the immense challenges of working from home, alongside own personal and family health and safety concerns, they worked as a team to position successful products and launch new growth initiatives, keeping their morale high. We owe a debt of gratitude to them. During the last several months of COVID pandemic, your company took every precaution to support the well-being of our employees and their families. Apart from seamless transition to work from home, protective infrastructure and processes were in place. Vaccination of all of our employees is being pursued intensively to attain the goal of complete vaccination of all the employees and associates. Your company is fully committed to the environment, social and governance agenda. We have been driving our efforts under environmental and social domains while practicing good corporate governance alongside a culture of transparency, accountability, compliance and disclosure. To provide the due focus and the required oversight of this endeavor, a committee for ESG has been formed at the board level. The most satisfying and rewarding moments come from our corporate social responsibility efforts in education, health, and water. Your company has been successful in keeping the children who are covered by our Road to School program engaged throughout the pandemic period and ensuring that their studies are not affected. Currently, nearly 55,000 students across India are covered and a further 50,000 students through our other group companies and the Hinduja Foundation. In addition, 
the Jal Jeevan program has contributed to making more than 600 million liters of safe drinking water available to remote villages and around our plants. Despite the difficulties faced in our business, your company as a resilient organization remains positive and excited about the future. Your company will continue to invest in new technologies, people, competencies, and creative business models, ensuring that the interests of our customers and all stakeholders are all safeguarded. In closing, I would like to thank your company's extended family of dealers, suppliers, banks, financial institutions, investors, strategic partners, and customers for their continuing faith in us. I'm thankful to the various central and state government agencies that have been supportive of your company. As always, I'm grateful to you for reposing your faith in the management and being an integral part of your company's journey. Thank you. I will now request the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Vipin Sondi, to make an audiovisual presentation. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen. Good day. I take great pleasure in welcoming all our shareholders to the 72nd Annual General Meeting for FY21. We hope that you and your families are keeping safe and vaccinated. FY21 was a year of challenges across the globe due to COVID-19. This pandemic is not yet over, and I urge each one of you to not let your guard down. The nationwide lockdown due to the pandemic impacted jobs and economic growth. The GDP contracted by approximately 7.3% during FY21. While each one saw substantial degrowth, perhaps the biggest in independent India, there was a turnaround in H2 of FY21 on the back of unlocking of activities in urban centers, growth in e-commerce, good agricultural production. The government of India and the Reserve Bank calibrated several economic measures, including various stimuli action. While FY21 was a setback, the GDP projections for FY22 are forecast at approximately 9.5% on account of sectoral reforms. Atmanirbhar Bharat, infrastructure spent spelled out in the union budget. As you may be aware, the automotive industry continues to be faced with certain challenges, supply chain constraints, Rising commodity prices, especially steel, shortage of semiconductors and containers for exports. While the production output was impacted during Q4 FY21 due to the global semiconductor shortage, we did our best to alleviate the situation through appropriate countermeasures. We've also been taking steps to mitigate the impact of steel price increases through pricing actions and value engineering exercises amongst others. My presentation will cover the following. The year gone by, FY21, business performance, rock solid and yet resilient, ready for the future. What can be a higher purpose than serving our communities in times of need? We reached out to stranded drivers with food and medicine. Our workshops were kept running to provide 24 by seven support to vehicles carrying essentials. Our team developed an automatic respiratory assist device for providing primary ventilation support to patients. We will continue to do the best for the communities around us. Health and safety of our employees and stakeholders has been of utmost priority. We set up an emergency response team, ensuring continual communication with employees and their families and all our stakeholders. Understanding the importance of the emotional well-being, our company has set up a toll-free helpline for our employees and their families. Vaccination of our employees and their families has been facilitated across our factories and the field on a war footing basis. While the pandemic posed several challenges, our company continued to build capabilities with several new product launches. The Aftar modular truck platform, the Bada Dost, the Boss Ellie and Alex, and Falcon Guzzle were all launched virtually and quite grand at that. Ashok Leland won big at the Apollo CV Awards. 
MHCV Trucks, Avtar and Boss won three awards. Tipper of the Year in two segments, MDV and HCV. Cargo Carrier of the Year, ICV category. Bada Dus was adjudged the CV of the Year and the Pickup of the Year within six months of its national launch. Business Performance. The domestic MHCV market share for Ashok Leyland has remained relatively unchanged in FY21. The truck industry saw a degrowth of 17% and Ashok Leyland volumes degrew by approximately the same. The bus TIV has a steep drop. We foresee recovery once the replenishment of fleet to BS6 by STUs pick up. The demand for LCVs was driven by e-commerce and growth in the rural economy. On a full year basis, while the TIV fell by about 2.7%, our market share for LCVs grew by 2.1%. Despite the pandemic, our MHCV and LCV trucks grew by 46% and 29% respectively over FY20 volumes. Bus volumes degrew by 45% year on year due to schools and offices remaining shut. Our company recorded a 52% year-on-year growth in defense volumes. Our parts revenue remained on a par with FY20, despite losing one quarter of sales due to the pandemic. The power solutions business volumes hit an all-time high on the back of several new business opportunities, registering a year-on-year -year growth in volumes of 17.5%. On a full-year basis, our revenue stood at 15,301 crores vis-a-vis -vis 17,467 crores last year, lower by about 12%. Our EBITDA was lower at 535 crores, which is 3.5% of revenue. We recorded a net loss of 314 crores in FY21 as against a net profit of 240 crores in FY20. Our consolidated revenue stood at 19,454 crores, vis-a-vis -vis 21,951 crores last year, lower by about 11%. We registered a net loss of 70 crores in FY21 as against a net profit of 460 crores in FY20. In Q1 FY22, our revenues grew by 353% year-on-year, to 2,951 crores, vis-a-vis -vis 651 crores for the same period last year. Our EBITDA grew by 58% with respect to the same period last year. Our net loss was 282 crores, vis-a-vis -vis 389 crores in quarter one FY21. In quarter one FY22, our revenues grew to 4,088 crores, vis-a-vis -vis 1,486 crores during the same period last year. Our PBT grew by 39% with respect to the same period last year. And our net loss was 252 crores, vis-a-vis -vis 389 crores in Q1 FY21. Rock solid and yet resilient. Our vision is one beyond numbers, one of true leadership and a purpose that binds the organization to be a top 10 global commercial vehicle player. Our focus is on differentiation and reliability, which will set us apart. We aim to deliver outstanding stakeholder value. You're all aware that Ashok Leyland is a well-respected brand with a legacy of innovation that has led to several industry firsts. We are passionate and customer-centric with our products and services, true to our philosophy of Aapki Jeet, Hamari Jeet. Our Aftar range of trucks with the iGen 6 technology is modular and offers superior performance and reliability. Our vehicle configurator allows customers to build trucks as per their needs. The response to Aftar has been heartening with customers experiencing excellent operating cost benefits and lower total cost of ownership. We will continue to develop on the strengths of the modular platform as well as BS6 performance and value sell our products. The modular platform and industry first has meant that our company could launch several new products across segments despite the pandemic. The new products have helped address several applications. Our company has been delivering fully built solutions as per the needs of our customers spanning across segments. 
Our FBS solutions offer superior build quality and higher durability, complementing the reliability and performance of the Avtar platform. Our company is the market leader in MHCV buses in India and the fourth largest bus manufacturer in the world in volume terms. The commonized bus platform has led to a homogenized design philosophy. We've recently carved out a subsidiary, Vishwa Buses and Coaches, to manufacture fully built buses in Alwar. This, along with global TVS in the South, will help us deliver more fully built solutions to our customers. The LCV segment grew exponentially thanks to the increasing popularity of the hub and spoke model and the need for last mile connectivity in e-commerce. In LCVs, we will continue to grow our addressable market in the years ahead. Our stallion has been the face of our armed forces mobility for decades. We have over 70,000 stallions in operation, a matter of great pride for all of us. Today, apart from logistical vehicles, we offer a host of mobility solutions for combat support, armored lights, specialist range, etc making us an end-to-end -end mobility solutions provider. We aspire to offer differentiated mobility solutions to our armed forces in the future. Our power solutions business caters to various non-automotive business applications, power generation, agriculture, industrial, and marine. Revenues of our PSB business have gone up 1.5x over the last five years and will continue to grow in the years to come. Our network of touch points covers the entire length and breadth of the company. We have created different formats of touch points, 3S sales and service, authorized service centers, container workshops, mobile workshops for better flexibility. International operations is critical to our expansion story and for realizing our vision. We have targeted expansion in five clusters in the next few years. Our present in SARC and GCC is known we are making deeper inroads in these geographies. We are also expanding our footprint in Africa. And in future, we will target the CIS and ASEAN as well. We wanted to give you a glimpse of our journey in Africa over the last two years. Our company has been executing project sales in the past. Retail, we believe, is going to be an important driver of growth. To penetrate in the retail segment, capable partners have been onboarded. These are sons of the soil have automotive experience, are well-connected, and are of strong repute, can scale up network. With this foundation, our company will grow its presence in Africa, in not just in terms of products and network, but more importantly, service and spares. Our digital core was built in 2012, when our business process moved to SAP. Our digital team has been offering differentiated digital solutions to our customers, iAlert, Service Monday, Layout, and e-diagnostics. We believe that artificial intelligence, blockchain, cloud computing, and data analytics are going to transform the businesses of tomorrow. A company aims to create a unified digital platform for our fleet owners and value chain stakeholders in the logistics ecosystem. And we will sustain a lifetime engagement with our customers through the platform. Our digital initiatives, iAlert 3.0, AL Care, Uptime Solutions Center, have helped us gain insights and understand customer expectations. AMCs, Recon, and Insurance have helped establish a competitive edge. Today, our company is serving customers through prognostics and firmware over the air, FOTA, setting new benchmarks in the industry. Aftermarket will remain a key differentiator in enhancing customer lifetime value. People are the foundation of this great organization. Our organization fosters a diverse and inclusive environment, ensuring equal opportunities to all. A culture of appreciation, respect, and joy go a long way in keeping people aligned to the purpose while driving high performance and empathy. Our commitment to sustainability is encompassed in our products and services with ESG as the cornerstone. Our passion for sustainable engineering is at the core of our work on alternate fuels, alternate material technology, connected vehicles. In order to streamline our focus, 
We formed an ESG committee headed by an independent director on the board with global experience. Economic growth and natural resource conservation will help support strong economies and healthy societies and needs to be balanced. Our initiatives towards carbon footprint reduction, approximately 60% of our power comes from renewable resources and positive water balance. We have approximately seven lakh trees in our manufacturing units. These are aimed at ensuring that we preserve the future. Our road to school program started in 2015, and that's extremely close to our heart. And today over 800 schools with over 70,000 children benefit from this scheme. The focus in the years ahead will be on quality and holistic education. Ready for the future. Powertrains today are predominantly driven by IC engines, diesel, and to some extent CNG. Over the next two decades, we will witness alternative powertrains, battery electric vehicles, fuel cell electric vehicles penetrating certain segments. While we are witnessing growth of battery electric vehicles, hydrogen powertrains are likely to gain traction. However, we believe internal combustion engines will continue to stay relevant and coexist with the alternative powertrains in the near and midterm future. IC engines will continue to serve several non-emissionized markets, non-automotive applications, and long hauls. Different vehicle segments will follow a different trajectory or a fueling technology. LCVs and ICVs will most probably move towards EV and CNG. LNG and hydrogen powertrains are likely alternatives for MHC. While it is still early days, we will witness trends emerging. In buses, EV and CNG will form significant volumes by the end of this decade. MDV buses may take the LNG and hydrogen powertrain route in the long haul. Our company is working in all these areas and exploring partners wherever necessary. The building blocks of an EV ecosystem include vehicle OEMs, suppliers, channel partners, customers, banks, financial institutions, and the government. Digital platforms will be turbocharging the benefits for the ecosystem through the concept of a data marketplace. We aspire to create differentiated connected solutions for our stakeholders. Our company has created a dedicated global EV-only entity called Switch Mobility, combining the capabilities of Optair, UK, and EV division at AL. The entity will benefit from the synergies of Indian and British design, frugal engineering, cutting-edge technology, and sourcing advantage, while remaining innovative and nimble-footed like a startup. The UK headquarters provides proximity to geographies expected to adopt and transition into EV faster, while manufacturing at India and UK offers flexibility. Switch will play a key role in democratization of zero-carbon mobility. Home Global Mobility will offer EMOS, e-mobility as a service, solving the most critical issue impacting large-scale deployment of EV, that is, a higher upfront capex. Through flexible pay-as-you-use business models and end-to-end -end customer-centric solutions, Home will drive faster adoption of EVs. Our vehicles have clocked over 26 million miles, including 2 million miles in India. To conclude, our company is set to move faster, aim higher, and achieve greatness. And I would like to end my presentation by thanking the chairman and the board for their guidance and support. And thanks are due to all of you, our dear shareholders, for your faith and for staying invested in the company. Keep safe and namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Vipin. Before I take up, the questions and comments from shareholders. Mr. Ramnathan, company secretary, will explain the electronic voting process and other matters. Yeah, good afternoon. In compliance with provisions of Section 108 of the Companies Act 2013, read with Rule 20 of the Management and Administration Rules 2014, the company had provided a remote e voting facility to its members for the businesses proposed in the annual general meeting notice through National Securities Depository Limited platform. Remote e-voting commenced on Saturday, September 4, 2021 
at 9 am indian standard time and ended on tuesday september 7 2021 at 5 pm indian standard time the company has appointed mrs b chandra and associates practicing company secretaries as scrutinizer for conducting the e voting process in a fair and transparent manner members who have not cast their votes electronically and who are participating in this meeting will have an opportunity to cast their votes during the meeting through the e voting system provided by nsdl members can click on vote tab on the video conference screen to complete the voting the auditors report on the stand alone and consolidated financial statements and the secretarial auditors report of the company for the financial year ended march 31 2021 do not contain any qualification observations or comments or other remarks on financial transactions that has an adverse effect on the functioning of the company accordingly the reports are not required to be read out as per the provisions of the company act 2013 thank you chairman i now invite comments and questions from the speaker shareholders only relating to the performance of the company with a view to afford adequate participation to the other shareholders i request members who have registered with the company to be as brief as possible not to repeat questions and raise questions only pertaining to the affairs of the company i request the speakers to take 3 to 4 minutes for their questions thank you very much ladies and gentlemen we will now begin the question and answer session we will wait for a moment while we assemble our question queue we take our first shareholder priya darshan naik you may go ahead please good afternoon i i was very happy to hear the speakers the chairman and also the md i know this has been a very bad year the covid pandemic but i also see reasons for joy one of the key things i feel extremely happy about is your avtr your avtar range of modular trucks with the bs6 emission conformance i think that's a commendable uh, thing you are digital next you are i alert telematic solution that's another thing that's going to take our company very far congratulations i think this has been a splendid effort Uh, thank you also for the dividend i have three questions and i will be uh, uh, just take two or three minutes the first one let me take you to page 122 of your stand alone balance sheet point 1.2 not 1.2 why have you non current provisions with respect to product warranties increased by almost 50% 48.5% to be precise what long term issues do you feel will affect the performance that requires these sort of provisions in term in warranty terms in fact if i look at your exact warranty spend compared to last year in fact there is a 63% uh, downtrend so what is this reason for fear perhaps somebody from the r&d department would like to take on this question and reassure us that these uh, product warranty provisions and non current provisions uh, i have no there are no long term issues that will be very reassuring my second question uh, takes you to page 263 i counted 12 subsidiaries uh, what was particularly painful is that four of these that's 33% are loss making and the losses are huge of tear for example is 155 crore loss the balance companies which are making profits are making petty profits 1 crore 2 crores uh, just here and there so my question is uh, isn't somebody from the board uh, giving an overview uh, why are why is ashok leland allowing all these subsidiaries to get away with losses 
what exactly is the issue? What is the problem? Now, which brings me to my third question. I have been reading newspaper reports that Ashok Leyland is a very prominent player in the BEML disinvestment process. Uh, it's a very prestigious disinvestment and I uh, would like to applaud the fact that Ashok Leyland is participating. With your defense unit, there's perfect synergy. I saw the CBUs, almost a thousand of them, your stallions, your water browsers, bulletproof vehicles, casting, even your defense associate company, I think there's been a 68% growth. So with Bemil, you are going to get a wonderful synergy. I have uh, no doubts about that. But Bemil also has two other verticals, the rail and metro, and also the mining and construction vertical. So my question is, what are your plans for the balanced two verticals of BEML? Uh, these are my three questions. Thank you very much. Uh, I am sure you will have a, 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 such a dynamic and a fantastic team as you all have with people and the members of the board and the chairman. I am sure you are going to have a wonderful next year and I look forward to congratulating you for the figures as well. So thank you very much. Good luck and bye bye. And I thank you. I will respond to all the questions at the end. Uh, we are noting them all down and once all the speakers are finished, I will respond to all of them. Thank you. Our next shareholder is on an audio call, Bharat Raj Kanakala. You may go ahead, please. Very good afternoon, uh, Chairman, Managing Director, Mr. Managing Director, entire Board of Directors. I'm happy to see you all safe, healthy, fine, and uh, in this uh, AGM. Sir, first of all, I thank the man management in this pandemic also. You have done very good, sir. I can never desire the management for working hard. And I know that in this situation, there is there is no issues to ask. But even though, sir, in this pandemic, my company has done very good, the PSR program. And in this pandemic also, you are very, very generous, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate you because you have 60 paisa dividend, even if my company is losing, sir. I'm very happy, sir. The way you're treating the shareholders, I'm very happy. Generous to the shareholders, sir. Uh, sir, my question is, in this pandemic, you have provided all vaccination to the shareholders. Any death calamities and how many, how you handle the death calamities, sir, to the employees, sir. Uh, sir, uh, one more, uh, one more I want to appreciate is the front page, sir. The wonderful front page designed by Secretary Department, sir. I thank Mr. Ramanathan for uh, doing a very good uh, annual report. Thank you, Mr. Ramanathan, for arranging a very good uh, virtual. Sir, Mr. Ramanathan is always accessible 24 into 7. Thank you. Sir, uh, once again, sir, this is, I am very concerned about the electric vehicle, sir. The next 10 years, the, my, our country is very serious to, uh, every vehicle should be electrical. So, how do you come out this solution, sir? How do you come out with the diesel engines and uh, petrol engines? What is your future plan, sir? The world is looking for uh, electric vehicles. Uh, Tesla is coming into the India. Munda is coming. Everybody is coming into the electric vehicles. So, how you are, uh, think for the 10 years, I am not looking for now. You look for the 10 years and 15 years, how you face the challenge? That is very important, sir, because I believe your leadership, sir, because since five years, my share price is appreciated, I, we are receiving dividends, and uh, we believe your leadership, sir, what do you take the initiative? Always support you, sir. We are always with you. Uh, you have a very good managing data here and a very good team, sir. And once again, I support all the resolutions, and I am happy that first batch has been released in the Vijayawada plant, uh, where uh, in this, uh, with the, with the state problems also, you have released a bus of the, from the Vijayawada plant. I'm very happy, sir. You have any plans to open any uh, new plans in all over India? Any future plans for electric vehicles? Are, uh, are you interested in to start the manufacturing of the lead battery, sir? Because we are in a, we are in each seg every segment. Are you any plans to enter into the battery electrical battery manufacturing also? Because uh, Amar Raja Batteries want to uh, establish a big plant, a giga factory for uh, electrical uh, batteries. So why not we enter? We also enter into the Battery segment, sir. Once again, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I believe in leadership. And uh, I'm from Hyderabad, sir. Uh, I met you in the uh, fiscal AGM, sir. Uh, because uh, we enjoy the fiscal AGM under, uh, under your, sir. And with me, Mr. Reddapa Gundlur and uh, Ramesh Gulla also came and visited you. Unfortunately, they are not registered uh, as a speaker. They asked you to uh, wish and convey the best wishes to you, sir. Once again, all the best, sir. Take care, sir. God bless you all. Ramanathan. Thank you. Good, sir.
Thank you. Thank you. We take our next shareholder, Jaydeep Bakshi. You may go ahead, please. Very good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Chairman, Managing Directors, CFO, and Board of Directors. Myself, Jaydeep Bakshi, connecting from the city of Kolkata. Thanks to our company secretary, Mr. Ramanathan, for giving me an opportunity to express my views. Sir, you have presented a good presentation in the beginning, which I highlighted with the present and the future of our company. Sir, I would be very much more uh, happy to have a hard copy if you have ever, ever published one in this uh, of this Osho Clearan. Sir, proud also to be a uh, part of a leader in commercial vehicles with uh, uh, with innovations everywhere. Sir, what is the present capacity utilization of the plants which you are running at present? And regarding there was the news of the shortage of the semiconductors, how much has it affected our business? So, uh, any uh, and any plans for entry into the light duty uh, light duty range? So, how much has been the effect of this raw material uh, price movement in in our product cost wise? And um, uh, this uh, R and D team has been doing a good in this fuel efficiency and the vehicle performance. What is our thought process for the emission and the safety ride, and also for the ride comfort in the in the in this uh, aspect? What is the thought process regarding this? this do you think, do you think, how much does it affect in our price factor? How much does it affect us? So th uh, congratulations for the awards which we have received, and also thanks for the dividend which you have passed on to us. So how kindly highlight on the subsidiary losses? Why are they going over so many losses? So what is, and also for the CSR activities and always is great as ever. And sir, can you highlight on only a waste uh, recycle and the carbon utility program? So uh, nothing to add more. I hope uh, we get a chance for a factory visit if the conditions improve in the coming days in the near future. And also for this video conference, this helps us to get connected from Kolkata because we don't find the time to travel uh, to a place and deliver our speech. And this video conference helps us to get connected with you, sir. I hope under your leadership and the good entire board will take our company to greater heights and will deliver better results in the coming days. Thank you and all stay safe, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We take our next shareholder, Santosh Kumar Saraf. You may go ahead, please. Respected chairman and board member and K. Mani Pansan and my all senior daughter. I am Santosh Kwam from Kalata. Aap sabhi ko mera namaskar sir. Aasa karta ho. Aap jitne amare director hai, jitne bhi adhikari gana hai, jitne bhi karamchari hai, wa aur unki family is COVID karna mein achche se aur surakshi zhongi sir. Sir, mein un bhaiyo ke prati apni samedna pagat karta hai. Want to express my condolence to those people and those employees who left us in the COVID time. I pray to God, give them Santi, Santi, Om Santi. And also pray to God to give their family to help to come out from this hard time and grief time. I also thank to my secretary for giving me an opportunity and provide me link very advanced, sir. sir my three to four short question are here. What is your capex plan for next two years, sir? And and what is the today order book at present, sir? Order book at present. And what is your plan to enter in electric vehicles, which is the future of the world, sir? Sir, what step are you taking for rain harvesting and re re recycle, reuse, and use? Reduce fresh water, sir. And, sir, one step you have to take it to increase renewable energy sources. And what is the present capacity of our renewable energy source? Sir, our employee and casual employee, including their family, are vaccinated. Please tell me percentage and what step you take it to. 100% vaccinated at LDS to fulfill our Indian dream, sir. Sir, what step you have taken for reduce single-use plastic 
in our factory, sir. So, sir, last I request with my clubbing head, please give empowerment more and more female employee in our factory, sir. The, if women empower, and then our country will be empowered, and our social life will empower, and our children also empower and improve their life, sir. I think women is more powerful than fifth past. They are winning silver medal in the weightlifting. They are winning medal in boxing and also winning medal in wrestling, also in the playing, sir. So I hope that you will be give the chance to show their honor in the company, sir. Next and last, it's also request for disabled employee to increase the percentage of disabled employee in our factory, sir. I think this employee also is capable if they get a chance like general people, sir. In the just finished Paralympics, Olympics, sir, India, this employee people win 19 medals for India and plays a high morality to Indian people. So I request you to give also the empowerment. Last, sir, once again, I wish Mr. Dhiraj Handuja, Chairman, and all our directors and all our capable persons and employees for their, for, uh, along with their family for lo long life and happy life in the year financial year 2022. Happiness, wellness, and perseverance with safety. I wish to God. Thank you for giving opportunity. Last day, I request that video conference meeting will be continued after 31st December, if possible, sir. If you help physical meeting, we have no objection. But, sir, I request to 15 to 20 minutes session for one India shareholder. If you give a time, then we will be great. Thank you, sir. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Once again, my namaskar to all our directors and dear friends, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our next shareholder is Bharti Saraf. You may go ahead, please. Can you hear me, sir? Am I audible? Am I audible, sir? Yes, you are. Yes, we can hear you. Trust, all is well with you and your family in this challenging situation. Our company deserves much more respect than the current market cap. After completing more than a decade of successful operations, profitability, dividend history, and becoming one of the strongest brands in our respective segment. Sir, I would like to know how our business has been impacted in these past two years of this COVID time. Where you see the light in the end of the tunnel and what will be the growth triggers in the first half and the second half. Our best wishes for the management on the eve of this 72nd annual general body meeting. Sir, we are marching towards the 75th year and the shareholders are having a lot of expectation from the management. Hope the management will be declaring a bonus issue in the 75th year. So I would request the management so that you shall be in a position to declare a liberal bonus to the investor fraternity on the eve of 75th annual general body meeting. So the coronavirus and the subsequent lockdowns have left virtually no industry untouched after the COVID. So any employees have been sacked, hired salary cut in percentage if any, and any salary cut was being taken by the management during the pandemic time. What are the cost-cutting initiatives done by the management, sir? And what is the view of the management going forward? Sustainability of the profit-earning growth will remain challenging in the coming quarters. Sir, what are the management efforts to reduce the other expenses, legal professional charges and the audit fee? Sir, I would request the management to kindly take part in con call, quarterly presentation and meeting with global investors on a regular basis. Sir, we are the market leaders today in the heavy vehicles. So, I would request the management to kindly take part in the con calls, sir. Sir, uh, we have done a very good amount of CSR. We do appreciate the amount of CSR being done. I request the management to kindly dedicate as much as CSR towards the COVID pandemic so that the world can come out of this crisis as soon as possible. Sir, uh, since the uh, I thank the company secretary and the entire team for conducting this annual general body meeting virtually and making this 72nd annual general body meeting a grand success. Sir, uh, there is a small request from other minority shareholders who are not able to participate in this digital platform due to the challenges in this digital uh, virtual AGM. So for the past two years, we are not able to meet you uh, physically and we are forced to meet virtually. So shareholders request that hospitality part to be taken care by the management as it is being done in the physical annual general body meetings. Uh, so I would request, because our uh, slogan is there, 
आपकी जीत हमारी जीत बट वॉट शेयर होल्डर्स से इन दिस पास टू इयर्स वी कैन नॉट सी हमारी जीत नहीं हो रही है तो इसके लिए एक छोटी सी रिक्वेस्ट है सर शेयर होल्डर्स के साथ तो कोशिश करिए आप दिवाली के टाइम में उनकी वो स्वीकार कर पाए और नथिंग मस्ट टू आस सर आई विस्ट कंपनी एंड द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स ए ग्रेट सक्सेस एंड प्रॉस्परिटी इन द कमिंग फ्यूचर थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग द अपॉर्चुनिटी सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर थैंक यू थैंक यू Our next shareholder is Mahesh Kumar Bhubna. You may go ahead, please. Very good afternoon, respected chairman, managing director, other board of directors, CFO, company secretary, other dignitaries on the uh, video conferencing, and my colleagues shareholders. First of all, I congratulate to the chairman that he has joined. Maybe he is joined from UK. So uh, first time. i am meeting with uh, all the director and other dignitaries due to this video conferencing i am a resident of the city of joy but now i am in bangalore before the pandemic i came here and i tapped here and still i am in bangalore so this uh, uh, pandemic has come after uh, 100 years after the century this pandemic has come when uh, in uh, 1903 this swine flu has come uh, which uh, continue for 5 years and this uh, covid 19 is uh, for the last one and half year uh, it is continuing third phase is already launched in india in kerala and other parts of the country and it will spread out in entire india and uh, uh, people are suffering and our uh, business industry are suffering very uh, huge this uh, uh, new variant will also come the mu 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 variant will also come and there is also one uh, news that uh, this uh, covid 22 will also come with mixed variant which is much more dangerous than covid 19 and uh, it is a very serious situation for uh, the industry to look forward for uh, the safety of uh, our people who is the fourth uh, pillar of the industry and we must have to take care of it uh, beside the permanent workmen we must also take care of our casual employees casual worker because where they will uh, go to take the help and vaccination etc so they are working with us so we must have to take care of with uh, their financial uh, relief also sir uh, our uh, indian um, this uh, life is changing rapidly lot of uh, uh, laws are coming every day and uh, this uh, the, there is a limit prescribed uh, by the government of india for 15 uh, years the lifetime of the any vehicle thereafter uh, the vehicle should be scrapped so this is a overburden to the consumers another thing that uh, our companies i have not gone through the annual report i am not well only i have seen the highlights of the annual report our uh, this uh, borrowing is uh, high and our financial cost is very high and uh, if you see uh, you you incurred the operating loss and uh, you are paying dividend even you are paying dividend out of the capital reserve so uh, it is not a very good to, if you see the last year capital reserve and this year capital reserve uh, there is no you had come with the right issue uh, last right issue that time you come with uh, 50 rupees uh, sorry uh, at a rate of 60 rupees and uh, that time market come down to 40 rupees Na- today i am holding 4500 shares i had applied full uh, even i applied more than my right so uh, if you take the history of your market price uh, for last 20 years or 30 years your maximum price go to not more than 100 rupees now it is quoting 120 rupees if you see the only the tire manufacturing the tire manufacturing company mrf their share price 10 rupees share price is 
one lakh rupees that's one lakh rupees so you are compact uh, manufacturing the vehicles uh, the trucks so uh, when uh, our uh, share price will go uh, to one lakh rupees if you compare with uh, 10 rupees and 1 rupees value then when your uh, share price will go to 25000 rupees i am a loser my maximum share holding in your company only 4500 so i am i am a com company law practitioner for more than uh, 45 years so i am shareholder of most of all the companies so there is a lot of competition in the market i understand and uh, the cost of the uh, fuel prices diesel and uh, petrol prices are uh, uh, at a sky high and uh, uh, people are discouraging to uh, use the vehicles unnecessarily and the transportation cost is going uh, high so it is a very bad situation and in the future there is no hope to improve the competition is also very high tata is also there hr is also there lot of other companies are also there but uh, ashok leland is also a very reputed company old company worldwide and uh, is competitive with uh, any other companies in india and abroad uh, we must have to try to export our uh, product to other uh, uh, countries like advanced countries like uh, Uh, us and uh, britain and uh, japan etc then we can able to cope with our profitability and uh, enhance our margins if you uh, go to the other neighboring countries uh, nepal bangladesh etc then also we can enhance our uh, sales and productivity then the micro economic uh, facility uh, benefit we can able to achieve sir one thing i uh, am very upset with uh, connecting on the telephone the security guard has uh, picked up the phone and uh, he is saying that uh, i cannot able to transfer the line i am in the ground and uh, people are uh, sitting on the uh, every tower on the top of the building so i discouraged then again and again i tried then once i um, Uh, got the receptionist she connected with mr n ramnathan i requested him to why uh, uh, company is not providing mobile number landline is now obsolete it is a 20th century uh, things now 21st century the mobile is smartphone are also using people and now uh, uh, again very rapidly fast changing the uh, signs So, uh, this is the the operator. I'm sorry to interrupt, yes. Mr. Bhubna. Uh, so we are. You've exceeded the three minutes time window that was allotted. But, uh, Mr. Bhubna, we've. Uh, I have, of course, under. First time, under, I, first time I am meeting uh, with you. I am not a shareholder. I never attended the AGM. This is the time no. I am. Last year also, I have not attended. Yes, no, no, sure. Uh, we've understood the issue with regard to the mobile numbers. If you could tell me which are the other specific questions that you would like to be answered. To your video and uh, presentation, everything. What new technology you are uh, advancing? Are you adopting the uh, this uh, uh, this uh, sensor system in our vehicle that? Uh, camera system uh, camera sensor system so that the driver can able to uh, see back side side uh, both to the side so that he can able to drive the vehicle very uh, smoothly and there is a no loss of the accident and more one thing that the sensor in the tire that how much the um, depreciated uh, value of our tower tire if uh, the tire will uh, scrap in the road it will road will also jump and our this business will be hampered so uh, driver must know that how much uh, depreciated value of our tires so the sensor must be we must have to adopt the, the new technology which is in the america and other european countries adopting so it is also a very important question i am telling you and uh, try to improve the market capitalization 
when uh, since actually started uh, when pandemic started since it was 23000 now it is more than 58000 when our cm value will be enhanced your cm value is uh, like uh, 12000 since so when we will expect a better result when we will expect the bonus when we will uh, able to uh, make our heads high as a good investor in a multinational company with this remark i will not tell you much more i am not well thank And you for the first time we are meeting i am also legal yes. practitioner i am also legal practitioner for the last 45 years all companies knows me all all this promoter knows me worldwide all multinational company knows me Thank you. Thank you very Thank much, Professor Gupta, for your comments. I'll respond to them. Thank you. Thank you. We take our next shareholder, Suresh Chand Jain. You may go ahead, please. Excuse me, this is the operator, Mr. Jain. We cannot hear you. Requested to unmute your line, please. We have lost the connection for Mr. Jain. We take the next question from Vasudha. You may go ahead, please. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, uh, we can hear you. Yes. Very good afternoon, respected chairman, sir, board of directors, my fellow shareholders, myself, Vasudha from Bombay. I would like to congratulate our company secretary for sending me the soft copy of the report well in advance, which itself is clear and transparent. I will ask as follow: the next three years capex plan. What is? I would like to notice you that we have transfer to investor protection. fund i would like to suggest that please take more efficient efforts to avoid this huge amount of the hard and fast money of the shareholders for transferring iepf fund further i would like to suggest it is can it is possible to send us the physical copy of the report as the senior citizen it is it is i support all the resolution Thank you very much, and wish the company all the best for coming financial years. I would like to give my best wishes for coming Ganpati festivals as well as Dasra and Diwali festivals. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We take our next shareholder, Shubhendu Sanyal. You may go ahead, please. Hello, good. Good evening. Am I audible? Yes, you're audible. Uh, good evening to all. Yeah, good evening to all the board members. I'm Shubendu from Kolkata. Uh, without wasting much time, I'll uh, st come straight to the queries. So, what is that? Uh, with regard to the CSR funds, CSR uh, expenditure, the obligation of the company was thirty-four uh, crores, but whereas the company spent only thirty crores. I would like to know the reasons for the shortfall of CSR uh, expenditure and uh, how the company what. Uh, How the company would like to, you know, uh, spend the remaining amount. Next, uh, sir, I found that uh, the company is primarily located in South India, and in, in the plants of the company are located in, in West of India, South of India, North of India. But uh, whether the company has any plans to foray into into the east and northeastern sides of India, or uh, like whether the company is has a plan of, of opening plants of EP plants in the eastern and northeastern sides of India. Next, sir. Uh, so the company is primarily in the B two B segment uh, with regard to the uh, uh, manufacture of various vehicles. Whether the company has any plans of uh, foraying into B two C by you know by manufacturing uh, by entering in the car segment, sir. Uh, and uh, finally, sir, uh, uh, whether the uh, whether the vehicles manufactured by the company are RFID that is RFID enabled because it helps to. Um, track the vehicles easily. So that's all I, the queries. Uh, I thank the secretary department for giving the opportunity uh, to ask the, my queries. Thank you very much, Jain. Thank you. Thank. 
Thank you. We take our next shareholder who is on an audio call, Suresh Chand Jain. You may go ahead, please. Hello. 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 Uh, we we can hear you. Hello. How are you, sir? Hello. Yes, sir, we can hear you. Uh, we can hear you. Hello. How are you, sir? Sir, your voice is coming. You may proceed. Hello. Other than chairman, sir, opposite to the director and और shareholder, sir. Sir, I am a very old company of the company. And I am a very old company of the company. I am a very old company of the company. I am a very old company of the company. I am a very old company of the company. I am a very old company of the company. I am a very old company of the company. I am a very old company of the company. I am a very old company of the company. I am a very old company of the company. I am मैं भगवान से यही प्रार्थना करता हूं आप दिन दोने रात चौकनी तरीके करते हुए अपने मंदिर को पहुंच जाए क्योंकि हिंदू जा परिवार को भारत के भारत के इकोनॉमिक को बढ़ाने के अंदर बहुत बड़ा सहयोग दिया उसके लिए मैं आपको तथा आपके टीम को मैं धन्यवाद देता हूं आपकी जीत हमारी जीत धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू धन्यवाद थैंक यू that was the last shareholder in queue. Over to you, sir. Okay. Um, dear shareholders, thank you for your comments and views. And uh, I'm glad many of you have gone through the annual reports in detail as well. I'll start with, uh, there were, of course, some common questions, which I'll respond uh, together. But uh, to begin with, with regard to the provisions uh, for the warranty. Uh, if you look at the total amount, uh, it is in fact lower at 250 crores versus 312 crores that was uh, last year. Uh, on one of the concerns I think a few of the shareholders have expressed are with regard to the subsidiaries and what are the actions being taken for these subsidiaries. Uh, as we have said in terms of our long-term plan, the Ashok Leyland is looking to grow and to make, and we want to make sure that we are firmly in position for addressing any changes within the market. Uh, Opter, as one of the concerns that was expressed, in fact, that uh, same company where Ashok Leyland has invested over the last 10 years, today, is seen as a very valuable asset for the company because of its electric vehicle assets. And as you would have noticed in my speech and also Mr. Sondi's presentation, the company is very much uh, ahead of the game, I would say, in electric vehicles. We have 280 buses already running between the UK and India. Uh, you might think that the numbers are not very high, but uh, compared to many large OEMs as well. I think we're well positioned to take a lead in this. And uh, also in the LCV, we will be launching our light vehicles. Uh, they're in customer trials at the moment, and we hopefully will get them into productionization in Q1 of 2022. But the other subsidiaries as well, I'm glad to report that despite the um, pandemic, uh, Hinduja Leyland Finance continues to do well. Uh, they have reported good profits even during this last year. And uh, even during the first quarter, they continue to move well. Uh, if you look at most of the subsidiaries, which were a concern in the past, they are either at break even or they have a strategic position for the company's growth uh, prospects for the future. Uh, there is a greater requirement for fully built vehicles, as a result of which uh, the company has moved in that direction with the new plant in Alvar as well. So I would like to reassure you that the board, uh, the directors and the management are very much uh, focused to ensure 
that not only the core business, but each and every subsidiary of the company is not only well managed, but has a clear business plan which they're measured against. And I am sure in the years to come, as we have seen with some of the other uh, subsidiaries which have turned around, uh, those one or two which require that additional effort will also reach and give us better um, profits in the years to come. There was a question with regard to the Ashok Leland's involvement in BEML divestment. Yes, you're right, there are, although there are synergies for defense, but we do not feel that it is the right opportunities for, for us. And uh, there are media speculations with regard to this, but we are not pursuing or participating in this divestment. With regard to our capacity utilization, uh, currently the plants for MHCV are operating at 50 to 75 percent, uh, depending on the various plants, whereas the capacity for LCV is uh, literally close to 100 percent. The demand for light vehicles has been strong as a result of the growth in e-commerce, and wherever required, we are doing a lot more of uh, de-bottlenecking to ensure that we do not lose out on any sales. Again, the question with regard to electric vehicles, and there was a, a comment made with regard to Tesla coming into the country as well. Uh, I will also respond to one of the last questions, whether we are looking at uh, getting into car manufacturing. Uh, I would like to confirm that that's not the plan for the company. We are in light vehicles, ICV and MHCV, including buses. We believe as a board that that is the right segment and that's where the core competency of the company is. So we're going to restrict ourselves to that level of activity. Uh, so in that context, we do not compete against Tesla directly. But the, the comment is very much true on electric vehicles. And as I just mentioned, there will be a huge transformation which all governments are supporting and there's a green agenda pursued by each and every country. We are following this very much and uh, we have in our presentation given you some details, but I'd like to assure you that the game plan for SWITCH, which is your subsidiary for electric buses and electric light vehicles, and uh, also OM, another subsidiary, together these two companies would be able to uh, bring a greater penetration for Ashok Leyland, even in countries where we do not sell today. One of the uh, areas that we're going to be focusing on is Europe, uh, and eventually post 2024-25, going looking at entering the US markets as well. So I can assure you that the focus from Switch and Dr. Palmer, who is your, one of your directors, is heading this uh, company as the vice executive, executive vice chairman and CEO. Uh, he is very uh, renowned in this area, and I'm sure you will be glad to see the progress we make in the next few years. With regard to battery manufacturing, this is an area which goes hand in hand with our electric vehicle ambitions. I would not like to disclose any plans at the moment, uh, except to say that, of course, Andy, along with the team, is very much looking at all the options uh, with regard to this. With regard to physical copies for the annual report, we will, of course, due to the pandemic, there have been challenges in uh, distribution. But if I could please request any shareholders who would like a physical copy, if you could please write to Mr. Ramnathan, and I'm sure he will arrange to have that sent to you. On the vaccination of employees, 82% of the executives and 72% of the associates have had their first doses. And uh, this is an area which we are, again, very much focused on. Uh, you heard Mr. Sondi explain how we are looking after the health and safety, even with the operations of the, of the plant. It is, of course, very difficult with the different strains to have full protection, but I can assure you we are taking all the, dis all the measures that all governments have uh, recommended 
medical experts with regard to distancing, uh, wearing of masks, and ensuring that uh, any new instructions that come in, we follow those adequately. There was a question on the CAPEX programs for the next few years. And I'd like to assure you that most of the CAPEX plans for the company have been fulfilled. We are not looking at anything significant over the next few years. Although I should say that Switch and Ohm as your subsidiaries, they will have their own funding plans in place and they will be conducting CAPEX programs. But as far as Ashok Leyland, uh, we are not seeing any major investments. In fact, uh, wherever required, we're looking at debottlenecking. And uh, in the same respect, there was a question with regard to our plans and expansion into the north and the east. Uh, I'd like to just clarify that while we have our plants in the south, we are also present in Bandara and Maharashtra. We're also pe uh, present in Pantnagar in Utraka and also in Rajasthan and Alber. So we are well spread out throughout the country. We do not see any immediate requirement for our new facilities to put in, uh, but we appreciate your comments. If there are any, if there is any thinking in this regard, we will look at uh, other parts of the country where not present. Uh, there was a comment by uh, Mr. Saraf with regard to uh, how can we increase the female participation in Ashok Leyland. Uh, we have about 350 executives uh, in the company at the moment. As I have said in our previous AGMs, Ashok Leyland very much believes in diversity. And in that respect, we not only encourage more uh, females to join, whether it's straight from college or through an apprentice program. In our plant in Pantnagar, we even have a hostel where they're able to work and they're able to study at the same time as well. So we fully uh, agree with this comment. Uh, automotive has not been a sector, uh, unfortunately, which has attracted many women into this workplace, but I'm sure going forward, as we're seeing greater and greater strides uh, by women all, in all spheres, uh, Ashok Leyden also looks to diversify more and more. Uh, there was a request for a copy of the presentations that were given. Uh, these presentations are, of course, going to be uploaded onto the website. Uh, but again, if you do require hard copy, uh, since they are quite extensive, I would request you to please write to Mr. Ramnathan and he will do his best to see what can be done. On the CSR shortfall, uh, this was predominantly done uh, because of uh, the COVID impact. As you're aware, there are three areas that we're focused on, education, uh, health, water. We have very extensive programs and we have made sure, even during the pandemic, to uh, make sure that the education doesn't suffer. It has been a difficult task, but I do feel proud of the fact that while many schools were shut, we were still able to continue our program for over 35,000 students out of the 50, 55,000 that we are interacting with. And uh, the funds that were left over will be consumed with the programs that we are already committed for. Uh, of course, we are hit by the semiconductor issue, as are all the auto companies around the world. And the issue is unlikely to get resolved immediately. But as we understand that the production from Q3 of this year is increasing, and uh, we have taken all precautions, we are building up our stock, and we are, of course, in touch with all of our suppliers to see how production doesn't suffer. Uh, on the borrowing costs, uh, Gopal, uh, there was an issue with regard to 
the cost impact on the finances. Would you like to say something on this? Interesting question. Uh, all I can uh, assure the shareholders is that, uh, you know, we have been managing our funds uh, very astutely. And, uh, you know, despite uh, a COVID year last year, I think the entire team, uh, uh, you know, from all functions have actually been ensuring that there is as minimal a demand on working capital as much as possible. And we have also been able to manage on the, uh, you know, the, the CAPEX investments, which were also kept very tight uh, during last year. So the interest cards are, uh, uh, you know, the, the rates of interest that we have from our partner banks who have uh, shown extensive support to us have also been, I would say, some of the best in class uh, going forward. And rest assured that we are trying to keep our interest cost as efficient as possible. Uh, Mr. Bupana had mentioned uh, about taking care of casual workers. I'd like to assure you that uh, we take the health and safety of everyone working at Ashok Leyland very seriously. And this is uh, looked at uh, by Vipin directly and along with our COO. So uh, please be rest assured this is uh, very much looked after. There were some, cons not concerns, but suggestions with regard to improved. How can we see the market capitalization? of the company improve. This is of course not within our hands. Uh, we are focused on our results and hopefully once the auto sector is seen in better light, having overcome the material shortages and escalation of material costs, I am sure you will see Ashok Leyland's performance, uh, if not better, at least on par with any other OEM in India. Uh, in terms of technology, uh, camera sensors, avoiding accidents, uh, uh, let me assure you once again, Ashok Leyland has been one of the innovators uh, when it comes to introduction of new technologies. Uh, whatever is required, whatever the customers uh, would like us to introduce on our products, we will be the first to uh, take a lead on that. We take technology extremely seriously, and I'm very proud over the last 15 years and more, we have always looked at being uh, the introducers of new technology as opposed to uh, being followers. With regard to the hospitality, uh, I'm sure as all of you recognize, it is much easier to uh, provide this in a physical meeting and poses a lot of challenges with shareholders being all around the country. Uh, we are, of course, uh, we understand the 75th year of Ashok Lenin is also coming up. Uh, and the request from the shareholders for bonus shares. Uh, we will, of course, as always, the board will look into all your comments and suggestions and do the best that we can. Uh, we personally, I believe that the worst is behind us. The first wave, the second wave of this pandemic has allowed us to shift our production. We've learned new ways of working using technology. And I'm sure um, COVID will not be going away very soon, but we've learned to live with this challenge and to work around this. So I'm quite confident, as I'm sure the board and the management are as well, that uh, quarter on quarter, we're looking to improve our results, our market share, and uh, we hope for a very good 75th year, and we could reward the shareholders appropriately as well. I believe I've uh, replied to most of the questions, but uh, Vipin, Gopal, Ram, if there's anything left, if you'd like to take over, then please do so. Uh, Mr. Chairman, no, I think uh, you've covered everything. Just wanted to endorse that quarter on quarter we will be better and uh, can assure all the shareholders that under the guidance of the chairman and the board of directors, the management team is focused as far as possible, both on the immediate and the future, to make sure that your company is continues to strive and do better and better. Good. Well, I'd like to thank all of you for participating. I hope most of your questions are answered. The Secretarial Department will correspond on any remaining queries, if any. 
please also feel free to contact the Secretarial Department at any time for any clarifications. The result of the votes cast through remote e-voting and the scrutinizer's report will be, will be intimidated to the stock exchange and public website within 48 hours from the conclusion of the AGM. Shareholders can view the results from these websites. Members may note that a time period of 30 minutes would be available for voting on the NSDL platform, after which the meeting will stand closed. I would once again like to thank the members, extended family of dealers, suppliers, financial institutions, strategic partners, and customers for their continued faith in us. I would also like to thank NSDL, Chorus Call, Secretarial Department, IT and Communication Teams of AL for the smooth conduct of this AGM. I now conclude this meeting and thank you all once again for attending.